Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I realized the other day that I forgot to show you how this lion actually came out after I gave him his final finish. First off, I, I tried using a bronze finish and a uh, green patina. I don't like green lions, it turns out, <laughs> so I uh, recoated him with iron and it just happened that I, I missed a spot here. I sprayed it very heavily with um, with the, uh, what's it called, the Tif Tiffany Patina in order to get a really deep uh, orange which feels a lot more lionish for me. It weighs about five pounds. So it turned out really nice I think. I've got him up by my front door. Um, let me show you how I learned how to actually um, get a really nice clean finish on it. Not, not the not the metal part, but the actual concrete itself. Um, I figured out how to use the, uh, the fiberglass reinforced cement in a way that would not end up with a bunch of little holes and bubbles when you use it in a mold. So let me show you how that was done. This is the mold that I ended up with. I, I made a couple of changes to the original lion. I um, just wanted to change a few things on the shape of his muzzle and, and one of his eyes. And then I tried making another um, uh, latex mold and it totally failed. It just didn't work at all. And I thought I'd actually followed the directions that time, but it really didn't work. So this one, I, I just went ahead and ordered some of Smooth-On's um, uh, Rebound 25. It, we got two, uh, three layers on here mixed um, one part A and, and one part B by by weight or volume I think and um, it just works out fine. It always works. I'm going to spray this with a little bit of uh, Murphy's oil soap mixed with water. Um, this just uh, somehow or another cuts down on the on the number of air bubbles that get trapped up against the mold. I have no idea why but it does seem to help. Now the actual concrete, or, or, or cement I should say, it's cement until it gets hard, um, what I'm using is the same stuff that Julie used on her mountain lion um, that, that she showed us on, out on ultimatepapermache.com a couple of days ago. It's a uh, quick wall. Uh, Quickcrete makes it. You can buy this at Lowe's. Uh, it's about $17 for 50 pounds. And I made three or four lions now. I've still got plenty left. Um, what I'm doing with it, I'm, I did a whole lot of research and it turns out that since this is a fiberglass reinforced cement, um, it's basically the same system that I'm going to be using that is used by Buddy Rhodes, the concrete countertop guy. And what he suggests doing is um, first uh, mixing uh, some acrylic fortifier in with your water, which I'm going to do right now. I use it about half and half. I haven't really seen any formulas for it, so I'm just going to pour some in. I'm almost all out, so I have to run and get some more. Then you buy this at um, at Lowe's too, and it's not terribly expensive. So since I want to um, to brush my first layer in really, really thin to keep any air bubbles in out of it. Um, I'm going to use this stuff that I bought from Buddy Rhodes uh, online. It's called Super Plasticizer. So what I'll do then, I've got my water and my acrylic fortifier in there. I'm going to put my plastic gloves on here if I can buy them. <laughs> Why do I lose everything? Um, I'm going to mix up the cement in the same consistency as is usual, which is quite thick, and then rather than thinning it out to, brush to brushable consistency with water, which would make it uh, much much weaker, I'm going to use the plasticizer instead. You just use a, a tiny dribble and it gets really uh, juicy. And then you can brush it. So I'll show you how that works. Now I should also be using a mask, but it's kind of hard to talk when I have a mask on. Oops. The bag does give you instructions for how how much water to the cement to add. And of course, I'm obviously not measuring mine. 
And now this is the plasticizer. Just adding a little at a time. We'll see how much we need. If I were to thin it with this consistency with water, the um, the dried cement just wouldn't be very strong. Really juicy. Okay. Fortunately, cement does not harden as fast as plaster. It will actually take overnight for this to to really harden. So we have a lot more time to play with it than we would if we were making something out of plaster. Now the second coat will go on before this is hard. I'm just going to leave it for maybe an hour just to firm up a little bit, but I'm not going to leave it to the point where it gets hard, where it cures actually, because then the, the second coat wouldn't actually stick to it very well. Now the, the concrete countertop guys, they, they use a um, an air compressor and a little gun, the same one that's used to make that popcorn ceiling texture stuff, uh, and they will um, spray the first layer in. They'll, they'll do two, layer, two layers, and the first two layers are sprayed, and then they'll go back over with a brush like this. And I don't really want to spend, you know, gobs and gobs of money on an air compressor and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Besides, the cat is loud enough. I don't need more noise. So I'm just doing it this way. This mess here goes in a, um, a, a bucket of water, of course. I, I know you know this, but um, just, just in case you don't, you do not wash this out in your sink. Uh, if you do, you'll have to call the plumber and replace all the pipes in your um, basement or someplace. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to go wash this out. I'll leave this alone for a while and, um, and in, in a, maybe an hour or two I'll come back and I'll, I'll mix up some more thicker uh, quick wall and I'll do the second layer. Okay, I think it's been about two hours. Took a little longer than I thought running to the library, but that's okay. The, um, the cement is stiff, but it's in no way hard. How do I say that? That's not that's not the way to say it. Um, it's thickened a little. <laughs> it's not juicy anymore, but it's not cured in any way. It's not even close to cured. So I'm going to add the second uh, batch. I mixed it up a lot thicker this time because there's no plasticizer in it at all. I did use the acrylic fortifier though. Yeah, I'm just going to be plopping it in there. This is pretty obvious. And I'm just going to move it around, smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to make sure that there's plenty along the edges. I don't want a real um, thin edge because that's the part that's most likely to get knocked up on against something and crack. Now I just have to get this wire in there. It might have been too big. I can chop that off. These are pretty heavy duty wire clippers here. Got that marked. That does not look like the center, but it is. <laughs> I'm going to trust myself.
I'm going to cover that with plastic and allow it to um, to cure uh, slowly uh, overnight. It won't be done in the morning. It won't be completely cured. I mean, in the morning, but it will be hard enough to take out of the mold, and then I'll cover it up with plaster plastic again and leave it alone. But I should at least be able to show it to you tomorrow. I left it overnight and I do have the the lion out of the mold. This is not the one that you saw me making though. Uh, this is one that I made before I figured out how to use that um, the, the um, plasticizer. And here's the one that you just saw me make. Look at how different it is. Very very few air bubbles. There's a little bit of work that I'm going to have to do. There's There's two pieces here that I wasn't quite careful enough when I was brushing it in. I'll have to uh, mix up just a little bit of the cement with water. Just put that in and, and you'll never see it. But everything else turned out really, really nice. And here he is with his iron coating over the uh, bronze coating. I think he turned out rather nice. I like him. If you make one yourself, please let me know. Show him off at ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.